Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain details about an illustration which is related to accommodation of bills. Let's figure out how different it is from the first one. As we know, we have already understood accommodation of bill. We have also seen an example which is related to the previous one whereby one bill is going through four different people and then it is coming back again and what is the effect of it. Let's understand what different things do we have in this illustration and how we are able to or how we are going to go ahead and solve this illustration. So let's jot down the illustration first. So we have mentioned down the illustration here. Let's go through this illustration face by face as we did in the earlier sub. For mutual accommodation between X and Y, X drew a bill on Y for 1st of April 2016 worth rupees 4000. That has been mentioned here. On the same day, Y accepted the bill and returned it to X. X discounted the bill with his banker at 6% discount and remits 50% of the proceeds to Y. That means whatever amount he received after discounting, he sent half of the amount to Y. On the due date, it happened that X couldn't pay up the amount and hence Y drew another bill on X for an amount of 7000 and that was accepted by X. Y discounts the same bill for 6600 and sends 1300 to X and this was done so that he can go ahead and pay up the earlier bill. Before the next bill payment or before the due date rather X becomes insolvent and later it was found out that only 25 paise in a rupee could be recovered that means only one fourth of the amount could be recovered from him so we have to pass the journal entries for x now so let's go ahead with passing the journal entries first entry that we have to pass is on 1st of april 2016 which states that x drew a bill on y and y accepted it for 4000 so that has been mentioned here which states that bills receivable account debit to y account on the same day X went ahead and discounted this bill and then half of the remit was sent to Y. So we'll pass entries for both of these things. First for the discounting thing with the bank. Now the discount what was mentioned was 6% per annum. So on 4000 if you figure out 6% discount let's figure out how much is the amount that comes for 12 months. And that comes to 240 if you divide it by 12 then it will be 20 rupees per month the tenure here is for four months so 20 into 4 will give you a discount of 80 rupees discount that was taken from the bank so whatever else the balance left is in your bank account now so that has to be mentioned now half of the proceeds were sent to y so we have to pass on the amount that is out of 4000 2000 was sent to y but out of that 2000 there will be discount which will be a part of that so whatever balance is left will be actually sent to his bank account so out of 2000 40 rupees discount will be bared by both x and y each now again after three months rather when on 4th of august adding three days to it they have mentioned that it was x who couldn't pay up the amount so y drew a bill on x and x accepted it so we have to mark the acceptance entry here so it will be y to bills payable account the new bill was accepted for 7000 rupees now out of that 1300 was sent here by y so whatever amount we have received we have received it after getting the same discounted so y went ahead and discounted the bill or rather discounted the transaction or the bills of exchange and he must have passed the same entry there but out of that he sent 1300 years so we have to pass the entry there also and we have to put in the discount column also because it was discounted at 400 rupees because 6600 is what he had got for 7000 so ideally 2000 is the discount that we have received here so rather we have to take 2000 as an expense the cash that he had sent had 1300 rupees and additional 2000 discount is something that we have to bear because the total discount was 400 out of which 200 has been bared by him 200 will be bared by us so the total amount which is supposed to be credited to Y's account is 1500 rupees Later on it was a part where it was mentioned that there is an insolvency that happened hence we have to pass the dishonor entry. So bills payable account debit to Y account will be the entry passed. 
and after that whatever amount has been received will be a part of bank account and whatever is not will be a part of deficiency account make sure when there is a finance that has been raised and has been split between two people you don't have to mention the bad debts account but you have to mention the deficiency account so out of that 7000 3500 was supposed to be recovered from x but only 25 paise in a rupee that means 25 percent could be recovered the entry that is supposed to be passed here when it comes to the deficiency amount so the balance that will be mentioned here as 875 so the amount that has been recovered after insolvency has been mentioned the bad debts as they cannot be mentioned hence we have mentioned a deficiency account which has been also posted here so i hope this is how you understand or rather i hope this illustration gave you a lot of understanding about how to solve a problem when there is an insolvency especially when the amount is shared with between two people and when such a situation happens how we have to go about in clearing out the journal entries here so i hope this video gave you a lot of clarity about accommodation of bill addition to it will be insolvency and the deficiency account creation so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda